Yo guys, this is Ryan Card. It's very Russian talking and basically a lot of people ask me about the recording of some footage and I want to tell you this one thing. It is almost not possible to actually provide a good quality footage that would be considered to be watchable, okay? Uh, if you guys want to watch pornography, I would recommend Pornhub, X videos, uh, whatever the other websites is, but not the YouTube and the World of Warcraft le uh, Legion PvP at the moment. At the moment, it feels like a poor cousin of all the four crap. For example, this enhancement shaman, he put basically a reflecting totems. This totems will reflect 100% of the damage I do back to me. So I popped my MS and I killed them. And while I did that, I died. Yep, let's go over it again. This is what actually PP feels like. So he, he puts the totems on the ground. I'm basically getting my army of the dead, I'm getting my dots up, getting all my shit going here, and as soon as I see the reflecting damage from them, I, I kill the totems and I died myself. So, that's basically, there's a few outliers in this game at the moment. I would say all the rogue specs, especially assassination, uh, prat warrior, mortal strike arms warriors, blood decays to some extent, still the survivability of the tanks are really really overtuned and the problem here for the beta is that everybody wants to roll a flavor flavor of the month and everybody wants to roll a class that's bugged so that's kind of deteriorate um, pretty much prevents the purpose of testing but anyway let me do some commentary here so they open up on me actually and they actually go from my dk over here and this one actually i lost but i did pop my blooded rune weapon i did got up my festering wounds and i did proc all of them the army of the dead and then I popped the Valkyrie because I have enough runic power gripped him back already used my son and the trinket and he pretty much ran away at this point in time I'm swapping to a rogue just so you know guys if you see the rogues it's usually to run away from them and I think this is one of my biggest mistakes here was I have the range damage and he put the bleeds on me and even though I technically kill him by the time that He's done kiting and everything else. I'm actually gonna take about 30 to 40 percent of my HP in damage from just bleeds and dots from assassination rogue alone. It's really that scary. So by the time this guy opens up, I pretty much gripped him back. He put the blades on me. I had enough time for one death strike, and as I should have used that, but the damage of my partner wasn't really that high to begin with, too. So with that said, let's look at the few relics where I actually did win and I did actually perform relatively well. This was actually very very scary, this is against the two Windwalker monks. And if you guys can see, like like I'm saying, it's just an ugly sister of uh, Mr. Pandaria. Like you know how you go to club and you see this good looking girl or good looking guy and you know he has a like ugly sister who's usually a cock blocker and you have to like get that ugly sister to like you first before you get to go to the good looking girl well this is kind of serious like that so everything pops the cooldowns every lots of lots of damage lots of damage and in this game they basically kind of a split dps and they kind of realize that they actually hey dk's are probably the most squishiest class in the game right now so let me actually focus on him after my corpse should expired i pretty much running on a fumes thank god this monk kind of over overshot me with his charge so that got me, get me time to actually kite him, put a few, uh, basically, chain of ice back, build up some running power so I can do a couple death strikes and if you can see the damage wise, I think I believe I was like a second on the damage. Also, the other monk did a whole lot more damage, however, he did a lot of damage to my pets as well, which kinda basically makes it a pointless DPS. So at this current time I'm gonna make a post because they do need to actually regulate the numbers because the numbers are out of whack. Uh, there's too much damage going on, like way too much damage, like Miss of Pandaria. The problem with that begins is that the damage that the Miss of Pandaria has, on the other hand, it's still, like it just does not make any sense, you literally have to, don't have to work for it. Anyway, so I popped my uh, Blighted Rune weapon, build up the stacks, build up the runic power, cracked everything on this poor warrior, put a few basically uh, necrotics, and I'm just trying to ne uh, refresh necrotics again. Back to basics of necrotics striking 101. Although necrotics, uh, they do stack by a decent amount, but not obscenely good. Also, I'm dealing the Fury Warrior, and the Fury Warrior is notoriously known for healing as much, hence why I decided to actually stack up quite a bit of necrotics here. 
Uh, overall, it paid off, and I did get a kill, and this red screen, I need to actually turn it off, because it's annoying. So, the next thing is, I'm gonna be dueling, and this is one of those things, like, the casters are almost non-existent. Uh, if you're fighting a caster, it's basically, you have to mess up really, really badly in order to lose to a caster. It's not about how well they play, it's about how, how much you're gonna mess up before you lose, because you just have that much advantage. Uh, so anyway, regardless, the Fire Mage is probably one of the deadlier casters out there because they do good amount of damage on their own. The last but not least we have is we're fighting against the Affliction Lock and the biggest thing about the Affliction Locks is that if they drain life you, they can stack a ne- oh actually sorry, Death Shellax. They can stack a negative 50% damage debuff on you, which doesn't really help against Unholy that much because we have a lot of damage coming from our pets as well and we have a Necrotix to mitigate that. He is trying to slam uh, Chaos Bolts into my gen uh, gentle ass but that didn't really work out that well because I did pop my AMS, blocked it and killed him. That's about it guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any requests about what kind of content you want to see from me, please let me know. I'm thinking of actually starting to upload a few Heroes of the Storm games as well. Thank you guys for watching and the Sudanian.